Right, so yep, you read the title correctly. Today is the day that I'm going to be collecting my RS6. So for those that don't know, I dropped it to VRS in Northampton a couple of months ago to get bigger turbos fitted and meth injection, and sorry, a meth injection kit fitted as well. So today's collection day. I don't know what power it's running. I've not driven it yet. But all I know is it's absolutely savage. So I'm in the 330D. I'm taking this to VRS and I'm collecting the RS6. All right, so let's get on it. Like, I'm genuinely excited about collecting the RS6. It's really weird for me, because obviously, in the time that it's been at VRS, I've bought a new car for myself. I bought the BMW M6. And I didn't buy the M6 with intentions of getting rid of the RS6. I plan to keep both cars. Um, I've got a massive soft spot for the RS6. I love that car. And But the M6 was just something that, uh, again, I think I've got a big soft spot. I just love that car. I absolutely love the M6. Savage car. But, uh, yeah, so... It almost feels like today I'm going to collect a new car because it's been so long since I've had the RS6 and in fairness, the whole time I've owned it, I've owned it probably for about, I don't know, it must be like nine months now and I reckon for more, definitely the, the majority of the time that I've owned it, it's been at VRS getting stuff done to it. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about collecting it. I'm told it's absolutely crazy, like Will's been updating me along the way. The reason why it took so long, by the way, to get it tuned is because this is a new thing. It's something that nobody's done before, uh, certainly not in this country. Well, that's, again, I'd, I'm sure there's someone that's done it, but not that we know of. Uh, so we've got bigger turbos, they're hybrid turbos, the meth injection kit, and I think mapping it's been a bit of a task. And Will's nature is always to continue um, perfecting and making better of what he's got. So he had it tuned weeks ago. And he's like, Calvin, I don't want you to collect it yet because I want to try and get a bit more power out of it. So, uh, yeah. I'm. If you're wondering why I'm in the 330D right now, because this is like, uh, it will seem like it's the same day as my previous video where I dropped the 330D to VRS. The reason why it seems like the same day is because it is the same day. I'm filming three videos today. Uh, so if you see the next, this current three videos where I'm wearing the same clothes in each video, it's not because I wear the same clothes every day because I'm filming it all on the same day, all right? So the, by this stage in time, the 330D will already be at VRS. Uh, and if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. But today, this video is about dropping the 330D. This video is about collecting the, the RS6, all right? I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'll end this chapter here. I'm gonna stop at the service station because I, I need fuel. But um, yeah, RS6 day, man. That's it, we made it the whole way here without breaking down in the 330D. Oh man, there's the RS6. Just trying to get on the curb without curbing my wheels. I ain't seen this car for bloody ages. They've actually cleaned it as well. Oh, it's looking fresh. Let's get the 330 out of the way so we can get some nice cinematics. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do now. Well, let's uh, let's flick or change to some cinematics, yeah. Look at that! What a beast! Look at them arches. It's just massive. It's just a huge car. Number plate as well, nice and shiny. Right, let's go find Will. Will, I've yes. um, finally, I'm getting my RS6 back, man. This is a, it's a big day, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'm bored of it now, so I've been driving <laughs> it for, for a bit, trying to make it all perfect for you. So, mm -hmm. um, it's the first time really this has been done this way. And there's other cars, but not with this type of hybrid. Uh, these these seem to work really well. So we've gone for the. This has got the smaller hybrids on. Mm -hmm. So what they call the quick spool ones. So these are ideal for a car that's basically had a turbo blow up or something. So we can repair them into these. Um, if you go much higher than this, you really start to need different hardware, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a front mount intercooler. Okay. So um, this has got uh, basically. Well, I'll open the bonnet and show. Yeah, yeah, cool. 
So you've basically got you had new fuel pumps fitted. Yeah. That course. was because of the fault with them passing fuel into the engine. Before, yeah. We've now stripped the new pumps, mm -hmm. put new internals in, but bigger. Okay. So we have more fuel pressure available. Um, we've also run water meth on the car. So that is neat, isn't it? So calling this kit. Mm -hmm. um, Devil's Own, Bruce at Devil's Own supplied it all and we've worked with him on jet sizes etc. You've got four jets, you've got a, a little distribution block under here which we've hidden okay. and then you have basically four jets. You've got two in the turbo here mm -hmm. which is pre-charge cooler, your charge coolers here. Okay. So these are just the smallest size they do. Yeah. Then you have in the end of the inlet manifolds here you have two, they're number ones, these are sevens. So these are like 60cc, these are 640cc okay. per side, so there's four jets in total. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it's quite a complicated system, uh, but you you know, you know need it if you want to be able to cool the vehicle uh, properly. Because that's why the bigger it. turbos. Yeah, I mean the, the problem is. is the stock charge cool is not that good. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing uh, intake temps of a constant about 30 degrees now. Whereas you're up to 80, 100 degrees with the original turbos on a stage three after a long thrash. Whereas this just stays around oh, that's about brilliant. It's massive. You're managing to yeah, keep yeah. it really cool, yeah, isn't it's, it's massive for heat management. We've also, um, it has bigger intake pipes as well underneath here, um, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. Uh, the air box, we've, we've modified the bottom of the air box and we've put, took the, there's like an air deflector here which we've taken out, okay. just so we can get the maximum amount of airflow into the engine. It still runs the same K&N filter that was fitted previously. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then that's it. So obviously the water meth system, the tank's in the boot. So it's got a big tank in the boot, all the pump and everything's integral in that and level sensor. So if the level drops, uh, it will warn you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have to obviously make sure you fill it Keep up. Keep it topped up, yeah. Um, we've put some extra safety in the engine calibration so that the front cylinders on these cars specifically, um, they, they have more ignition knock than uh, the, the rear cylinders. So we've put extra safety in there so it will pull more timing out of that if the meth was to stop working uh, etc right. so there's lots of little That's things there's lot, done lots of little things on there precaution yeah pre well it's just to keep the car um, in one piece basically yeah so, yeah brilliant and um, so yeah so do you want to know the figure it made or that's the big, big question you? you don't care do you? no i fully care man this is the big the big thing isn't it so what was we it? It was about 700 brake before weren't we yeah we went about seven before so we, it has an eight on it brilliant that's what i wanted to hear and it starts with an eight yeah so we made 820 horsepower. Oh, wicked, man. So an 850 plus pounds feet. That's so wicked. massive. And the RPM that Full Boost comes in at is literally uh, five to 600 RPM later. I was gonna say, so the so idea of it being- not that much later. Yeah. Um, so where the normal turbos will run out of puff, uh, these carry on, basically. Brilliant, so, so the power delivery will be a lot better. It's, quite, it's really good. I mean, it, it, obviously, um, when the car, when the, sorry, when the car, when the ground is damp, the car will like, you know the wheels have been third so really? for a big heavy car it's, it's quite scary car. yeah it's good going, man. so but yeah no it's it's really good it drives really nice on the road and i can't wait for you to drive it so. yeah i think so what i'm going to do is flip the camera around so just to let you lot know i am not going to be doing the first drive video right now i'm going to um i think i'll get it started and hear it started for the first time in ages well we've got different downpipes as well have we sorry yes so we we removed the other downpipes mm -hmm. and we've gone for some bigger ones okay this time specifically uh, the other ones were okay for the stage one plus that we did yeah. um, but this has been a stage three we need the full three inch the ceramic coated as well okay brilliant. um yeah so they're, they're the bigger three inch down pipe so it's and yeah it sounds yeah it sounds naughty yeah if so we get started have a little listen <laughs> I'll drop around the back. Savage man. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, then inside your car you've got your controller. Okay, yeah. Just there. So you've got all your meth. Yeah. So there's a little I've got a little instruction pack for you which will take you through that. 
Um, yeah, so there's, there's different functions on there. You won't need those, they're all preset. Mm -hmm. So, and that's hidden in there. That's so, nice, isn't it? don't see it. Then in the back, we'll show you the rear. You may as well have a little look at this uh, the, yeah, the meth kit and the boot. Posher than the 330D. Yeah. So yeah. then your meth tank just sits oh, there. Mate, that's well neat, isn't it? That's it. Nice. Cool. So just keep that full. Yeah. <laughs> keep it full up. So literally, so the engine case or engine covers removed. En engine cover pops off. Just basically push fit, so they just pop out. Oh, neat. So it's dead easy to remove. It's not a pain. Yeah. So these are the intake pipes. Okay. Basically, these are bigger. Yeah. Um, so if you have the intake pipes are too small, you start to pull a vacuum on the turbo. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want that. So no. we've made these bigger. Mm -hmm. And there's your three inch down pipes oh, down the back. Man, they look beast, don't they? Beast and little, little turbo tip. Oh, oh, turbo yeah. there. Sorry, Sorry, to to them. Them. yeah, man. All right, that's it. Home time. <laughs> Twenty brake horsepower, eight hundred and twenty brake horsepower. That is like, that is crazy, man. Like, I thought having a seven hundred brake horsepower car was gonna do it for me. But when Will mentioned that we could put bigger turbos on this car, I remember thinking, if we achieve eight hundred plus, I'm gonna be over the moon. So I now have an eight hundred twenty bhp meth injected Audi RS6. What a car, man! And the funny thing is, I've obviously got the M6 now and. The M6 kind of serves a similar purpose because it's a very similar car, as in it's just as almost as savage as this. I reckon this is going to be quicker. I'll find out soon. Um, I will do a comparison video at some stage as well, by the way. But what's good about this car is it's a five-door family estate car. Like for me, that's great. I say that a lot in videos. It's wicked that this is such a usable car. I'm sure it's going to be terrible on fuel, as is the M6. But you know what? It does do a lot serves a lot of purposes this car so yeah man uh big day for me today really because obviously i'm collecting the rs6 massively excited about this but i've also dropped off the 330d which i mentioned earlier that i've sort of filmed at, uh three videos today in total so one of them was dropping off the 330d video number two was collecting the rs6 and video number three that i'm going to film as well is uh introduction to the e46 m3 touring project so if you're not familiar with that i'm going to be building an e46 m3 touring we're at vrs or, or the team here at vrs they're going to be building the car for me doing the engine build turbocharging it fully forging the engine that's all happening so i'm going to film an update on that right now because both cars are now here so if you're not subscribed to my channel for some crazy reason hit the subscribe button right now hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload i do upload i say this all the time sounds like a bit of a robotic speech but i'm going to tell you anyway because you could be new to my channel if you're watching right now um i upload a video every wednesday and sunday at six o'clock two videos a week guaranteed on point i don't mess around i'm super reliable so make sure you hit subscribe all right i'm going to film my first drive video on this as well so if you want to be about for that that's going to be the video following this hopefully might be the one after that not sure yet but look out for the first drive video on my audi rs6 after it's been tuned running at 820 bhp and i'm sure i'm going to be bloody over the moon with it i don't know yet because i haven't driven it but i'm told it's scary fast and uh yeah give me a follow on instagram as well at cameron's car diary and do me a favor hit the like button as well right and i'll see you in the next video bye in the next episode of diary of car trader the E46 M3 Coupe and the E46 325 Touring are now both at VRS, which means we can begin building the E46 M3 Touring. And that project's gonna commence in my next video.